It's the Half Hour Wasted and Legion of Dudes Podcasts. Hey, this is Jordan from Jersey with the Legion of Dudes and Walking Dead TV Podcast, and this is what I thought of the comics I read the weeks of October 20th and 27th, 2010. And let's start out with Deadpool issue number 28. Yes, as you can see from the cover with uh, Steve Rogers on the front. In this issue, Deadpool teams up with the Secret Avengers, or does he? Or does he fight the Secret Avengers? Or does he? Well, that's kind of the point of the issue, because it turns out that Dr. Bong has created imperfect genetic clones of the Secret Avengers, or at least three of them, and that's who we saw last issue, that's who he's teamed up with at the beginning, that's who he's fighting at the end, and the real Secret Avengers come in. It actually gets kind of complicated, because the clones and the normals, their actual costumes aren't differentiated at all, so you kind of have to keep track of where each character is specifically, and when characters on the move, it becomes even more complicated to figure out where it's going on. Uh, the issue's funny. I enjoyed it, but it was a bit hard to follow in places simply because of the art. And I like the artist. Uh, the art's really fun. It fits for Deadpool. It's kind of cartoony, but not too abstract. But it was a bit hard to follow. There, it Just as simple as much as making their eyes a different color or, um, I don't know, have a special patch on their uniform or something like that just to differentiate differentiate them would have been nice but a uh, good issue anyway then we have kick-ass 2 issue number one from mark miller and john Romita jr um i read the first series i didn't review it here i kind of read it later on um i saw the movie liked the movie liked the series you know didn't love them liked them and the movie made a lot of changes half of which i really liked half of which i didn't Always seems to be the way with adaptations, doesn't it? But anyway, um, they kind of have to bend over backwards a little bit to make some of the changes from the movie fit in with the story here. I think it works. Um, basically, it has to do with where uh, Hit Girl ends up, uh, with with whom she's staying, in other words. They have to kind of make those stories fit, and I, th I think it works. But it is strange if you've just read the book and maybe not seen the movie. You're like, who's this character? What's going on? It's explained... It works. Um, I'm interested with the very interesting ending. I think there's kind of a reveal that other reviews I was reading didn't pick up on because the character he's talking to at the end, uh, or almost the end, I kind of think that's a character we've seen before and it's just that it, it's not been said out loud. Um, either way, the, en the issue ends in a really cool way, but I think it might have ended in a cooler way than most people realize. We'll see next issue. We have The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 646, the end of the origin of the species arc. Um, last issue, I really like best issue of the arc as far as I'm concerned. Still holds true with this one. This was a bit of a step down. Not terribly so. It's still better than how the arc ended. I'm glad it ended, though. Um, some of the reveals weren't really as awesome as they thought they were. And I ended up not caring a lot about a lot of it. But last issue, at least, was very fun. Hey, don't forget to check out hhwlod.com for the Half Hour Wasted and Legion of Dudes podcast and Walking Dead TV for the Walking Dead TV podcast. It's Halloween as I record this tonight in just a little over five and a half hours. By little, I mean one minute. I was doing the math in my head. Um, the Walking Dead on AMC will be premiering 10 o'clock tonight on AMC if you live around the world. Check your Fox International channels, because that's who has the international rights. Um, I think if you go to walking-dead.tv, I think there's a way to find out like which channel in your area is playing it. I don't know. Um, because it's region-blocked in the U.S. I can't actually see everything on the, on the website because I'm in the U.S., which is kind of a weird turn, but turnabout's fair play, I guess. So check it out. Check out the show. Then check back here, hopefully by an hour after the show airs, and it's an hour and a half which is awesome for the pilot, uh, I will have my review up. Just like I did for the Lost videos, I'm going to be doing it for the Walking Dead television show on AMC. And if you go to walkingdeadtv.com, you can listen to our whole podcast on it. That should be up early this morning, like 3 o'clock in the morning on Monday is when it should be going up because we're going to be working our butts off to make sure we have that content out to you as fast as possible. Check us out. Subscribe on iTunes. I think we're pretty much the number one Walking Dead podcast out there at the moment. So it can't hurt for you to, you know, subscribe, leave a five-star review. We'd appreciate it. Let's get back to the comics, though. Next comic we have is Secret Avengers issue number six, wherein Shang-Chi, if I'm saying that correctly, he was one of the heroes for hire anyway, joins up with the Secret Avengers because his dad might be on the loose. Only problem is his dad died like ten years ago in comic continuity, as far as I gather from this issue. I don't know a lot about the characters, sorry. Um, 
So they kind of want to find out why his dad's ninjas are active all of a sudden. Uh, this is tying in with the greater arc. We've got uh, the fake Nick Fury, Max Fury, and uh, the Civil War general or whatever it was, private. I don't remember what his rank was. Sorry. Who's leading this group of uh, shield-like guys with a dragon on their on their chests. They're kind of trying to resurrect his dad and... It's kind of crazy, kind of wild, and kind of awesome. So if you like out there comics, if you like Guardians of the Galaxy, but you don't like the humor for some strange reason, check out this book. And look, there is some humor in there. I mean, you know, Irredeemable Ant-Man. Gotta give him props. But uh, it's much more straightforward in tone, but it's a very cool book. So get in while it's early. This is the first issue of the second arc, issue six, Secret Avengers. I like it. And of course, don't forget to check out forumforgeeks.com. Forumforgeeks.com, it's the home of Half Our Wasted Legion of Dudes, the Walking Dead Podcast Network. There's five of us now. We just added a fifth podcast. If you have any interest in Walking Dead, check out walkingdeadtv.com first, of course. Then check out Walking Dead Podcast Network on forumforgeeks.com. Any Walking Dead information you want from people who've never read the comics, to people like us on Walking Dead TV who are really familiar with the comics but aren't going to spoil you, Anywhere across that gamut, you're going to be able to find it. Welcome to Podcast Network on forumforgeeks.com. And let's get to our last comic. Secret Warriors, issue number 21. It's interesting that this is issue 21. If we think of 21 as being when someone becomes an adult, in this issue, a certain character kind of graduates, in a way, from childhood to adulthood, or let's just say into full-fledged godhood. Um, you'll have to read the issue to find out exactly what I mean by that, but uh, it's kind of hinted at on the cover. Epic sword fights, explosions, Jonathan Hickman, writing spy material, you know it's got to be good. Uh, this series comes to an end very soon. I don't know if it's issue 25, 24, um, but it's going towards a conclusion. Go and pick up the trades if you can find them. I don't think there's any hardcovers yet, but hopefully this will even be released in like an omnibus edition. This is such an awesome comic. Secret Warriors by Jonathan Hickman. Check this out. Check out S.H.I.E.L.D. he's doing. Check out anything Jonathan Hickman's doing. That's it for me, because I've got to go get ready for Traders and for, hey, Walking Dead on AMC tonight. I'm super excited. Check back later today, technically tomorrow, for my review of the show. I'm super excited, and uh, fingers crossed it's going to be good, and that the zombie apocalypse doesn't happen first, because I'd rather watch it on TV and get some pointers instead of being alive. Have a good week. It's the Half Hour Wasted and Legion of Dudes podcasts.